one you guys you're gonna hear this all the time by proponents of the homosexual pulpit model it says that heterosexual leadership in the church leads to homosexual behavior now you're gonna read all about this if you listen to the arguments of people who call themselves complementarians for example this is a classic argument that makes absolutely no sense if you look at these two models okay people who are proponents of the homosexual uh, family model of leadership for the church they will say that that if you have women in leadership in the church, in the church family, then that's going to lead to homosexual behavior. That's going to lead to people not knowing what their real roles are supposed to be in the family units. And, and it's going to lead to a breakdown of the family and people are going to be confused about their gender roles. Now, what a bold, brazen lie from the pit of hell. For the proponents of a model of leadership that looks more like a homosexual family model to say that heterosexual leadership is going to confuse people about their gender roles. If you're confused about your gender role in the body, let me help you out. Jesus said, if you're a man, you're a brother. You're not a father or a husband in the body of Christ. You're only a husband to your own wife, and that's all. You're only a father to your own children, and that's all. So if you're a man, you're a brother. If you're a woman, you're either a sister or a mom. Very simple. Okay, and having a heterosexual model of leadership is not going to confuse people about their gender roles. Having a homosexual family model for church leadership, that's what's going to confuse people because they're going to look and say, okay, where in the body of Christ is the woman? Is she always the slave? And as the bride of Christ, is that what I am? You see, it's not an accurate portrayal of the nature of God. I'm going to read to you again Romans chapter 1, and this is going to tell us definitively um, what it is that causes sexual perversion and people to be confused about their gender roles in the family. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of people who suppress the truth by their unrighteousness, because what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen because they are understood through what has been made. So people are without excuse for although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God or give him thanks, but they became futile in their thoughts and their senseless hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for an image resembling mortal human beings or birds or four footed animals or reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the desires of their heart to impurity, to dishonor their bodies among themselves. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served the creation rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them over to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged the natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. And likewise, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed in their passions for one another. Men committed shameless acts with men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. And just as they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them over to a depraved mind to do what ought not to be done. They are filled with every kind of unrighteousness, wickedness, covetousness, malice. They are rife with envy, murder, strife, deceit, hostility. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, contrivers of all sorts of evil, disobedient to parents, senseless, covenant breakers, heartless, ruthless, although they fully know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die. They not only do them, but also approve of those who practice them. Now, this passage tells us what leads to depravity, what leads to sexual sin, and what leads to people being confused about their gender roles in the family. It's not accepting a heterosexual family model of leadership. On the contrary, it says that it's when people reject what they clearly see God's nature to be through what he has made. And in this case, it is through the family unit that he has created. They clearly see that's his nature.
nature. That's the way he set it up. And yet they reject that and they want to create another model where they redefine all of the roles where suddenly you are lying to yourself and telling yourself that you can have a complete life, that you can have a complete family unit with only one sex in leadership positions in that family. Understand that's what the homosexual model looks like. It does not look like nature. And what leads to homosexual behavior according to this scripture, which these men seem to be so concerned about, is not heterosexual leadership, you guys. And this is being shown right now. You guys, this is very easy to see right now because this is harvest time, okay? So all of the fruit of all these principles that these men have been putting forth, sometimes for hundreds of years, in the case of the Catholic Church, we can look at that as an example. They are proponents of a homosexual model of leadership. They claim that that is a priestly model, but the truth is that the ordination of these priests comes through men in God. God's model, um, the priesthood is actually a family unit, and there were women involved in that family unit, and those women had the honor of their own sons who grew up to be the priests. They learned from their moms, and they were also one with their husbands, and so there was not any division. Women were an important part of that leadership model, although the uh, position of priest in that model was reserved for uh, the one who was to be a model of Christ, okay, who would come and cover our sins for us. It was a family uh, position by nature, and the ordination was passed down um, through the, the power of the womb. Who gave birth to you? That's what determined whether or not you were going to be a priest. On the contrary, the Catholic Church created a homosexual uh, family model where all men were in charge, and those men um, were not ordained uh, because they had the title passed down to them through a bloodline, but they were ordained by the approval of men, and they did not include women anywhere in their leadership, even in their own personal family model. So if you want to see um, the result of a homosexual pulpit model, you can look to the Catholic Church as a very extreme example in that, and what you are seeing now coming into the light is the many hundreds of years that we now know of, of people who have been sexually abused used by priests, and in particular, these priests have been known, unfortunately, for sexually abusing young boys. They have homosexual tendencies, and this is something that has been accepted, as it says, although they fully knew God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but they also approve of those who practice them. And we see the cover-ups that have gone on, and um, this is all coming into the light to the tune of billions of dollars of damages for the Catholic church. Okay, the fruit is now showing. So anybody who wants to tell you that a homosexual pulpit model is uh, the one that is going to uh, result in healthy sexual relationships and healthy understanding of what your correct family role is has not taken an honest look at uh, where their homosexual pulpit tendencies come from, which is uh, originally the Catholic church. But you look at the Protestant churches and you're going to see um, the same kind of fruit. Okay, you're going to see uh, the same things going on. So to try to attribute um, a false into uh, sexual depravity in our society to uh, women wanting to be in leadership is quite frankly for those who are in those positions of authority to fail to take responsibility for the results of their administration. We are now seeing the fruit of the homosexual pulpit and it's not pretty. TV is funded exclusively by viewers like you. If you would like to make a donation online, you can do so at www.tiktok.tv or you can send your donation to TikTok Ministries, P.O. Box 155155, Irving, Texas 75015.